Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Faster Than Light, Advanced Edition. We are going to choose the new ship. We have the Federation Cruiser Type A. The ship features the latest in Federation technology, an advanced beam weapon that pierces through shields. Quite a nice little thing. And then we have the Stealth Cruiser, constructed for the Federation by the NG. The ship is designed to use cloaking technology and speed to get behind enemy lines. As you can see, it's got cloaking, but it doesn't have any shields, which is kind of crappy. It does have quite a bit of dodge, however. So you have to rely on your dodge and cloaking to uh, avoid projectiles. But, fortunately, you, you can buy shields for a, quite a hefty price, but then it, the price goes down and proceeds as normal. However, I want to get these uh, other ships, especially the Mantis Cruiser Type B, I think, has the uh, four, um, um, four teleporters. I mean, four room teleporter. Four person teleporter, damn it. Let's take the Federation Cruiser Type A. Looks pretty cool. There's the, uh, there's the main cannon. So there we go, there's the special artillery beam. Powers a slow, high-powered beam that pierces all shields and does one damage per room hit. More power means faster cooldown. This is basically a halberd beam, or pike beam, or whatever, but it pierces all shields, so it's quite nice. I think it... Oh, we got a mantis as well. That's very varied crew. Very nice. Okay, so let's see who do we get. Here's my little list. We get Rehard... 25. Welcome to the crew. Then we have Lewis S. Welcome to the crew. We have Reiko. Also welcome to the clue. Um, clue? <laughs> to the crew. And we have Lunar Might. Welcome. There we go. And a burst laser too, which is quite a nice thing. Couple with the, um, Laser. Nice. Alright, let's start. This is the Osprey. This is gonna be... Uh... Firestar. Yeah. Start. Okay, the data you carry is vital for the remaining Federation fleet. Right. Okay, let's see. Oh, the piloting is in here. That's quite interesting. Um... Where's the spe- Oh, there is the special system. That's for the, uh... Big cannon. So, Lewis S is in here. Considering no one has any skills, I think I want Lewis somewhere in the middle. So he's going to be here, and Mr. NG Reiko is going to be at the weapons. Uh, maybe you should be in the, on the shields. Oh well, I think this will be fine for now. There's the uh, special weapon powering up. Station saved. Okay, well, we'll need the burst laser, of course. Let's jump. Already a distress signal there. So let's go over there. You arrive at the, dis the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Carefully cut the ship out. Let's try that. You use your beam to make a few precision cuts in the asteroid. The ship gives you a quick burst of thrust and the rock crumbles away. They thank you and offer some of the resources they have collected. You mean stolen. Oh, well, we're helping pirates, but whatever. I'm in a good mood. There's already the, um, the store, so let's go to as many places as we can before we go to the store. You come across a space station under construction. You receive a message from their command tower. Greetings! We recently lost contact with a cargo ship that was set to deliver more construction materials. Could you help us figure out what happened to them? Offer our help. Great! Thanks for your help. I have marked their last known coordinates and sent over some supplies to help you get there. I had a quest marker to your map and quite a lot of stuff. Not bad. Right, there's the uh, place we're going to before the store. You discover one of the Rebels autonomous scouts. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging, engaging your ship. Right, so let's uh, power the burst laser and go for the weapons. Auto fire, of course. Beep, 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 beep. And we're gonna do the, uh, how do we fire this again? I forgot. Oh, the, uh, ion cannon did not hit our... Um... No, no, no systems, and it didn't hit the shield, so that's pretty good. Excellent. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Okay. Let's jump to the store now. Oh, crap. We have to go back there? Oh, I 
think the rebels... Uh, I'm not sure. Let's, uh, let's try this. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Hmm, charged laser, ion charger. Yeah, none of these are really good. Whole laser backup cloaking, very expensive. Crew teleporter is nice. Weapon pre-igniter, stealth weapons. Nah, eh, nothing great really, to be honest. To be completely honest, they don't have anything great. Right. I think I want to upgrade my uh, engines for now, because we're gonna have a party of rebels. Yep, we will. Damn it. Okay, full speed out of here, please. Oh yeah, I can turn off the medical. The rebel fleet has found you, and a nearby scout turns to engage. The cruisers in the distance are firing on you. Brilliant, he's got so much stuff. Yeah, well... Well, let's try to go for the weapons, even though they've got level 2 shields, so, yeah, that's not really gonna work brilliantly. Oh, that missed, and that's not gonna miss, of course not. Well, the, uh, the mine did miss. I mean, the bomb. Uh-oh. ASB target locked! Ow. Of course, we're missing everything. Come on. Oh, ASB missed, that's good. That's missed as well. It's quite good that I uh, bought that uh, engine upgrade. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're missing a lot. Well, I take that back. Let's jump. Go. Bloody hell. You arrive to find what appears to be a colonized moon. However, scans show it has been abandoned. You also detect an abandoned space station near the beacon. Move in to examine the station. That will be an automated scout. No? Upon closer inspection, it appears to have a large portion of its hull destroyed. You take what few supplies you can find. Well, that uh, certainly is a very few supplies. Uh, let's uh, repair these systems. And then we'll go back. Okay. Already then. And let's jump. There's the quest. Let's go there, why not? Probably pirates. You find the missing cargo ship docked to an empty space station. However, their hold appears to be empty and there are obvious signs that anyone is inside the ship or station. What? And there are obvious signs. Everything looks abandoned. So you, you mean to say there are obvious signs that no one is inside the ship or station. Moving to examine the station. The station is in disarray. You find a cloning bay partially intact, but nothing else seems to be functioning. Scrap the machinery. You take what you can and prepare to move on. I guess if you have your own clone bay, you can do something. And bring the crew back or something. You, maybe you get a crew member. Um... Oh, that's a shitty... Look what a crappy place we got. Crappy sector, I mean. All of these are dead ends, so we, you know, it's pretty crappy. Okay, let's go there. Ah, brilliant, fire. This beacon has been placed too close to a supergiant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here, or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage. Hello, pirate. Let's uh, get the weapons. Go, burst laser. Go. Ah, that's... damn it. Yeah, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. That's nasty when they fire the ion and then immediately the laser because, well, the ion takes out the shields and then the laser has free reign. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Uh-oh, fire! Ah, of course. Well, Mr. Lewis is gonna do that. He's immune to the fire, but it is going to eat through our shields. Doesn't really matter though. <clears throat> the ship explodes, the bombs, blah blah blah. Okay, we can jump, but of course we are shieldless. But let's jump before another fire bursts out. You jump into an unremarkable system. No life signs detected detected within scanning range. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Let's repair those shields. And then we'll go to the uh, yeah, the distress signal and then to the exit. What a crappy sector we got here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave Lewis here to repair this. He's gonna get level up. There we go. Very slowly, but... Oh well. 2 out of 18. 
It does suck that they only seem to get a level up when they repair something, so it doesn't matter if you have four people repairing a system. Only the guy that will actually repair the system, you know, the last little pixel, uh, is gonna get the experience. Distress! Let's see. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! Send the crew to help! Giant alien spiders are no joke, we're gonna lose someone. Yep. Wonderful. Your crew boards the station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly a man-sized arachnid bursts from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everyone made it back. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Of course Lewis is gone now. Let's go to the exit. What a crappy sector. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Let's attack it. Uh, yeah, go for the weapons. We're already at half, almost, uh, hull. Yeah, I'll say it again. What a crappy sector. Brilliant, thanks. Okay, let's uh, repair that. Come on. Back to your uh, quarters. Or, well, these aren't really quarters, but the system. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. Let's investigate the station. The station was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems. You find a functioning drone schematic. Uh, let's repair this as well. Mr. Rehart is gonna do that. Okay. Come on, a little faster. There we go. No! I saved the positions. There. Let's jump to the next sector. There's a store there. Pirate or rebel control? Let's go to the pirate controlled. A few years ago, this region was bustling with trade activity. Now it is overrun with bandits and marauders. You should tread lightly here. No, we shall stomp about. Let's go for those nebulas. Usually, uh, I mean, it'll slow the rebels down. The only thing with scanning within scanning range is an old abandoned mining structure and a resupply station. They appear to be, have been picked clean by marauders. Oh, wonderful. Let's go there so we can see what's around us, if there's any stores or something. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Oh, wonderful. Mind control. Super shields. But hopefully... They, uh, the super shields, yeah, are gonna get uh, attacked by the uh, asteroids as well. Well, not attacked, but, you know. Ow. Yes, repair the engines. Bloody hell, that's taking forever to repair. Ow. Thank you. Alright, you win! Here's some equipment from our stores. Leave us alone. That's quite good. Yeah, let's take it. Ow. Get those bloody shields up. What the hell's going on? Why are the shields not up? Jeez. Get everything repaired, damn it. You guys repair the O2 system, and then let's go repair the door system as well. And then heal up, of course. Come on. All right. Ah, <sighs> what a crappy, yeah, rotten luck we're having. I wish I could just fire upon these guys. All right, back to your stations. Oh, ah, interesting. It doesn't immediately uh, discharge. There's a distress beacon there. Yeah, why not? Let's see what they have. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread violently. They are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. Send your NG crew to calm down the infected. With no fear of catching the disease, uh, Mr. Reiko helps reassure and organize the infected humans. Calmed by its extensive knowledge of human physiology, the infected submit to the quarantine in the hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony leaders offer a, rewar a reward for helping to prevent an ugly incident. Oh, good work, Reiko. 
Nicely done. Uh, give me something good now. We're at half hull strength. You arrive to find a small research station putting out a distress signal. There is no response to your hails. Dock with the station and investigate. You dock with the station and see a frantic person banging on the airlock door. Once inside your ship, he drops to the floor saying, My friends, they've gone insane. They're coming. You hand him a blaster and turn to see a number of people charging towards the ship. Prepare for a fight. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, there's Beth. We're not really very well prepared for this, but okay. They're attacking our weapon, which is fine. We can we can let the air out here, but it's not going to do much because they're just going to go through the doors to other areas. There we go. Let's send uh, Mr. Lunar Might and Rehart because they're the best at fighting. Especially uh, Lunar Might, of course. Okay, so they've gone insane. And you guys can repair it. The uh, secret weapon. Come on. Jeez. Taking forever. Oh, Rehard is at four health. Nice. There we go. Okay, let's get healed. And we have Beth, a new crew member who will be manning the shields now. So Beth shall be known as, uh, well, why not? Let's, um, who did we lose last time? We got Rehard, Reiko, Lunar Might. Oh, Lewis S. Yeah, Lewis S. Because that was a bit crappy. Right, welcome back. Okay, let's send everyone to their positions. Why aren't you two... You two are a little hurt. No! Station saved! Ugh. Bloody hell, okay. Here, uh, Reiko... And Lewis, okay. Reiko can go to the... Uh, and heal up. Alright, let's jump. Uh, to the nebula we go. Which will slow the rebels down. Oh, bloody hell, I hate these. He jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated chips loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment. Most of the debris is hardly even usable as scrap. However, you eventually find an intact weapon that can be mounted on your ship. Iron charger. Eh. Let's see. Required power 2. 6 seconds to charge. Shots per charge 1. Maximum charge th uh, shots 3. Eh. Not great. No. Yeah, well. Jump. Next nebula. I hate plasma storms. There appear to be a number of small stations nearby. Before you have time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel teleporter was used in one of the stations. You've been boarded. And there's quite a lot of people. Which is not nice. Do, 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 do. Hey, Lewis S. Over the What? Oh, you're going over there. Okay. And we do need the O2 system. That, uh, that's a definite. Okay, Mr. Lunar Might. Let's relieve Rehard over here. He's gonna need that help. And you two can go and heal up. I love Mantises. Bloody awesome. Uh, Mr. Reiko will need to go and heal up as well. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, everyone onto their positions. Oh, I didn't save it, of course. Uh, Reiko is in here, and Lunar Might is in engines. Come on. There we go. Let's save the positions. I want a store. There it is. But it's uh, one way. Ah, fine. Let's go and check it out. We need to repair anyway. A, f a few small ships are visible on the vid screen, and you almost activate weapons targeting. However, sensors indicate they are simply honest merchants. The pirates must be making you jumpy. You message them asking about their wares. Let's uh, repair. Excellent. That's the cheapest you can get. Hacking, blah, blah, blah. 
fire beam. That's quite an interesting. This terrifying beam does no physical damage, but ignites fires. What's the 20 seconds charge time? Yeah, thanks. Chain laser. Yeah. After three volleys, it only takes seven seconds to charge. Shots per charge, two. Yeah. I don't know. Let's just sell this stuff. Oh, that was quite nice. Uh, the charge iron as well, probably. Uh, it's only two, though. Might keep it. Chain laser doesn't seem that bad, actually. Eh, I'll, I'll buy it for now. Let's also get Thomas Blooch. Okay. So, Mr. Thomas is gonna be in the uh, doors department. And he is going to be known... Oh, Thomas Bloch. He is going to be known as Wet Lettuce. Welcome to the crew. Alright, and we're gonna continue next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.